Yo, what is going on guys? It's Toby here, and today we have a crazy project. I'm holding carbon fiber right here, and we're going to be doing this with epoxy resin and putting it on a Mustang GT350 spoiler. That right there is my raw piece of carbon fiber, and then we have my GT350 spoiler on the outside. Right now it has a black finish, and it is painted plastic. But the goal here for today is to epoxy resin that carbon fiber cloth on top of here. So this is going to be going from looking very bland with a black finish, paint finish, to being fully carbon fiber. These are all my supplies right here, but I'm going to explain them as we do each step of the carbon fiber resining. So we have pigments right here, we have adhesive tape or adhesive spray I meant to say, some degreaser which is our prepping, and then we have our epoxy resin. First step here is to actually hit the wing with some 100 grit sandpaper. So this is an orbital sander. This is gonna make it super easy and pretty much we're gonna cue the time lapse now of me sanding down the entire wing. this on to protect my lungs but I'm using 120 grit sandpaper I'm not sure if I stated that before this is gonna clean up the entire surface here you can go with more aggressive sandpaper actually that's better but I don't want to completely strip off the paint because we need some of this black finish <laughs> Since I've got my wing all sanded down, it's pretty much time to just clean up all that dust and debris off with some 70% isopropyl alcohol and a damp rag, and then I can apply the base coat of epoxy resin. Also going to hit it with a degreaser, so this makes sure that the surface is actually really clean and that the epoxy resin can bond to the scratches that I made with the sandpaper. I'm gonna be using this resin right here for this part. So it's a one-to-one -one mixture of resin. Meaning if I put 75 grams of the actual A part, which you can see right here, that means I also have to put 75 grams of B. So we're gonna be using a measuring cup and place it on my scale, pour 75 grams of A, and then pour another 75 grams of B in here, then pour them together. All right, let's pour my 75 grams of A in here. This is my part B or the hardener. So now that the resin and hardener are mixed together, I'm gonna put in some of this black tint right here. So it's like a sort of powder, and this is gonna let me know exactly where the epoxy resin is to make sure that I get full coverage when I'm laying it as a base coat. So I've got my part A and part B here, and I'm gonna slowly mix it. With resin, you really need to make sure that you get the A and B, which is the resin and hardener, adequately mixed, and then the pigment is also gonna get swirled in there when we do this. applying my base coat. Supposedly I'm supposed to let this whole thing dry for about two hours and then I can add the carbon fiber. So this is getting it ready to be skinned. While I wait for that to dry, I took some measurements of the wing and it's uh, 60 inches long so we're gonna have to cut. I mean we need to use this entire roll here. Alrighty fellas, so it is now time to skin the wing. This is the moment of truth here. So my wing sat there for about two hours, and I'm gonna skin it. Should go like that. That is nuts. Okay, so that's my wing right there underneath. We're gonna take a razor and trim the excess when we need to. That's crazy. down the carbon on the edges we use that adhesive tape or that adhesive spray which is going to get our edges perfect but I also wanted to explain in the case that you have overlap of the carbon fiber like we do right here so what you need to do is take a pair of scissors 
and you're going to cut the overlap and then when we resin it'll basically fix it so when you cut the carbon fiber just like i did it'll make a perfect overlap and then like i said we'll fix it when we sand down and do further work but the wing is looking pretty good so far i still got some edges to tuck and stuff to clean up apparently after fully skinning up the wing you want to wait about three hours before doing your first coat of clear epoxy resin well i'm not going to do it clear i'm going to tint it green but this is what the wing looks like so far but we have to fast forward three hours so i will catch you guys all at the three hour mark ready well it's actually eight hours later but i was suggested by several people on spotlight to go ahead and wait until tomorrow morning so they saw my post on snapchat and they said it would be best if I use normal brushes, not those sponge type of brushes that I have right there, and to also wait until I have sunlight so that the UV helps the epoxy resin cure faster. I can officially add my first base coat of resin. So I threw in some green tint, kind of like yesterday with the black tint, except this time it's green. So since I'm using the same exact resin as last time, we're gonna mix in the one to one ratio, measure it out, and then pour the same amount of resin for hardener part A and B and then slowly mix it so that you don't get air bubbles. I just coated up the wing, as you saw within the time lapse, and apparently I have to wait yet another eight hours. So this all has to dry out, but it has a slight green pigment to it. I suppose that'll get thicker or more visible as more coats are laid on but this is just a very thin layer of base coat and then we have to sand again after it cures for eight hours part of the carbon fiber resin process is called quote-unquote keying and denibbing which means that we're going to be using the bosch sander right there to sand down that first layer of resin clear coat with 180 grit so we're going to go over the entire surface of the wing and get it nice and sanded <laughs> see I just did some of the underside with some more sanding but I'm also gonna get rid of the snags with some scissors so at this stage the resin has hardened completely it's been eight hours so these strands that you see of carbon you can pretty much just go ahead and snip them and you're all set and good to go so just go around snipping each of the loose strands like that clean it up real nice and then we can move on to the next step. Also gonna be taking 120 grit by hand with a sanding block and just going over the entire wing because sometimes with that orbital sander you can't be super exact. The pad is a little bit too big and the angles are weird. So we're just gonna take 120 grit just like that and sand down the rest of the wing by hand. This right here is the finish that you're looking for. Now you see these strands right here because I accidentally cut the cloth a little bit too short. No big deal though, I don't think you're really gonna be able to see it unless you look closely, especially with that green tint that I'm putting in. But this is all smooth. What I was watching from that tutorial on how to skin carbon fiber is that when you hit it with that 120 grit, you wanna make sure that the wing is completely smoothed out so that you're ready for these next steps of resin. I'm gonna be using a very damp cloth just to wipe the wing off one more time before we do more resin. This is gonna get rid of some dust. That green is really starting to look crazy in the epoxy resin by this stage. So now I have to wait about two hours for the resin to get tacky, just like when I did the base coat. And then from there we can add another coat of the green epoxy resin. Wow. That is insane though. Just to reiterate this, but when you do your second coat around, you wanna put your finger in the resin. So if you're leaving fingerprints, that means it's tacky. You don't want it to be soaking wet, but as you can see, I have added yet another coat of resin right there. So we're gonna wait two more hours and then we're gonna finish off with the third coat. We're repeating the same process of mixing, applying, and pretty much applying the same amounts for every coat. Just finished up with my third and final coat. Hopefully the lighting is okay, but now it's time to let this dry for eight hours as we did in the one stage of allowing the, um, what's it called, the undercoat to dry for about eight hours. So we need to make sure that the resin comes to a full cure 
And as you can see, it's already looking super, super nutty and glossy as well. So we're almost to that finished carbon fiber look. It's been eight hours allowing for a full cure of the epoxy resin on the carbon fiber. So now it's time to do some sanding with 120 grit by hand. Then we'll use the orbital sander and then we'll progress to 240 by hand, 240 grit, and then 240 on the orbital sander. Got my 120 grit right here. Sorry if it's hard to hear me because I have the mask on. I'm gonna protect my lungs. We're gonna take 120 grit by hand and scratch the whole thing down. Really smoothing the surface. sanded with both 120 and 240 grit we can wet it out with a damp cloth and then we can do a very very thin layer of resin so I think I'm gonna be using about 45 grams of each resin and hardener and basically we're just gonna do a super super thin layer nothing thick at all and that'll do the last uh, clear that'll be the last clear that we do what the carbon looks like in its most current state after all that sanding so as you can see, it took off a lot of the green, which is good. So we're going to have more visible patches of carbon fiber. And yeah, I really like how it looks. It's definitely unique, has a green tint to it. You can see more carbon up here. Now we're going to finish off with the last coat of clear, very thin layer. This is the last layer of resin right here. So like I said, it's very thin and we only used about 40 grams of resin and hardener together. So now I can let this cure for eight hours and we'll be set to do the next step. Now that it's been a full eight hours, the resin has become fully cured once again. So we're gonna wet sand with 400 grit sandpaper. I've got that right here and it is currently wet. So same process. As you can see, the surface of the wing is super, super smooth now. So I'm just gonna clean it up with a wet rag, possibly spray it with some degreaser, and then we can do a 2K clear coat on top of this. It's gonna have a gloss finish. That was a lot of work, but this is what the wing looks like before the final clear. I think it looks really cool. That's definitely very unique with the carbon finish and everything is super, super smooth. I will be dropping this off tomorrow morning at Zane's who's gonna do the professional clear coating on there with a paint gun and everything, get me right, so it has that nice professional finish. But it's giving me a Pirates of the Caribbean type vibe. It looks like a, an algae bloom on top of the carbon fiber, which is, I mean, my desired intent. I didn't wanna have boring and regular carbon fiber and this actually matches my dash. But I went ahead and I picked up a gurney flap too off of eBay. This is used off of somebody's GT500. So you can see that right there. And then if we mock it up, this is kind of what it's gonna look like on the back of the car. So we're gonna have this cleared and an awesome gurney flap. Two weeks later. So it has been quite some time since I've had an update on the spoiler. I dropped it off at Zane's to get clear coated, as you guys know, but he ended up redoing it in a crazy carbon fiber slash uh, fiberglass weave that has grabber lime in it. So I'll put a picture of it on the left -hand corner of the screen so you guys can see what the spoiler is gonna look like with this crazy custom weave. And we're gonna be giving away the original wing that I did. So if you guys want me to sign it, I definitely could. And in that giveaway, we're also gonna be doing some crazy Gen 3 stock headlights. So as you guys know, I put in these new headlights from Form Lighting. I still have my stock headlights and I'm gonna be working with Striker lights to make them RGB. So I will post more details on Instagram about the giveaway that is gonna be happening within the next month. And we'll do an update video and reinstall once I get this version of Zane spoiler with the grabber lime in the carbon fiber weave. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.